Hey guys, welcome to the Ben Wallach Music Vlog. Thanks for checking in, you guys are awesome. Today I wanna to talk to you about quantity versus quality. I think this is a super important topic. I've been listening to an audiobook by Seth Godin called Lynchpin. I'll put a link to it below. You have to check it out. He talks about so many things that are relevant to making your career amazing, whether it's in music or in something else. But I've been listening to it, it's been inspiring me. And he talks about quantity versus quality, which is something that I've actually thought about quite a bit in the past. Because I've had all these clients that obsess about tiny details in songs that nobody cares about, and they never move on to the next song. They never move on to the next album. They just stay stuck where they are, obsessing over small details. I get it. You're a musician. You're an artist. You want to express yourself, and you want your art to be perfect. I get that. But it doesn't work like that because your first piece of art or one of your early pieces of art is never going to be perfect. It's more important and more beneficial to you to be done with the project, to ship the project, and move on to the next one. Because at the end of the day, it is a numbers game. The more stuff you do, the better you're going to get at your craft, the more likely that one of those things will be great. Pablo Picasso painted thousands of paintings, and we only know a few of them by name. I happen to have been to his museum in Barcelona, so I've seen a lot of them. They're all amazing, but... Only a few of them do we all know. And the same is true with bands. Radiohead is a band I admire and love. And their first album is not so great, Pablo Honey. It's, it's a decent, grungy album. But then they put out The Benz after that. And after The Benz, they put out OK Computer. They kept getting better. They kept putting things out. And the same is true with your music. If you're obsessing over a mix that you've been doing for a month and you don't love the way it sounds, you're going to probably just have to ship it. Be done with it, move on to the next project, and maybe the next project will sound amazing. Or maybe the project after that. You don't know how long it's going to take. you got to keep working on it, and you got to put things out, be done with them, so you can move on. These clients I've had that obsess over nuances are afraid of moving forward. It doesn't do them any good, especially in 2017 when people are so distracted, their eyes see so many things on social media if you think they're waiting for you to finish this perfect piece of art, you're wrong. They're not waiting. They're distracted by other things. So put more things in front of their faces, and eventually, maybe one of them will be great. So remember, it's a numbers game. The more you do, the more likely you are to do something great. So stop obsessing, stop tweaking, finish a project, and move on, and I promise you, you won't regret it. Because you're gonna just, you're gonna write another amazing song. It's not just this song. There's so many more. So do yourself a favor, stop being afraid, hit publish, hit bounce, finish the project, and move on. All right, guys, I hope you dug this video. If you did, please press like, please hit subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I think this is super important. You got to put out the quantity, and then I promise you within the quantity, people will find the quality. This is where it's at, guys. All right, until next time, you guys keep rocking, all right? Thanks for watching.